So I've seen a bunch of comments off my Guts Berserk video stating that can this actually be done early and I actually wanted to set out and see if it could actually be done. And well, I managed to be able to create a run that takes 45 minutes to do, allows you to get that Guts build and beat Margit. So to get going, you're gonna wanna get that Confessor starting class and pick up the Golden Seed. From there, we're gonna run up to that first boss and we're gonna die. And now that we've gotten to the actual start of the game, it's time for us to get to the next bit, which is getting our horse. So as you run along, make sure that you pop each of the graces because we're gonna need them as we go along. Also make sure to grab the smithing stone that's on the anvil because we're definitely gonna need that. So we get to the gate front grace and this is where we're gonna be treated with our steed. And now that we have the steed, we can actually set off. First, we're gonna pick up the map and grab the flail. That flail is gonna be very, very useful in order for us to get a bunch of levels later. Now, as you go, you're gonna to wanna to pick up this gray specifically, cause this one we're gonna to go to a couple of times. But first, we're gonna to wanna to stop off in Limgrave Tunnels and pick up as many of the smithing stones that you can grab. If you can pick up at least eight of them, then you're perfectly good. You're also gonna wanna kill the enemies that are inside. This will give you enough runes to give you the one level required to use that flail later. And now that you've gathered all the smithing stones that you can, we're gonna go back to the first step, Grace, and we're gonna head over to the Dragon Burnt Runes. Go straight inside, and we're gonna get ensnared in the trap. Take the loot in the treasure chest, because you might need it just in case. You can sell this stuff later. Now, carefully do this run, and make sure that you keep rolling, because these cockroach looking things, pests can really get you if you're not careful. But you're basically just going straight down until you get to the grace. Now from there, you're gonna wanna go outside, hop onto your horse and just hug the left side. Pick up the rotten stray ashes cause these are gonna be useful later fighting Margot and grab the grace that's right near the swamp of Aona. Now this might take you a couple of tries just to get perfectly, just because you're gonna be on the horse for most of it, but we need to light three torches in order to unlock the northern area of Kaled. So follow my path here and you'll get it done very fast. Once that last one is lit, you're just gonna jump down and head up these stairs here. Grab the golden seed and grab the grace that's through the doorway. Keep running up top and avoid the balls. You'll actually get some more runes and that'll give you the level that you need if you're a little bit off. Hop inside, grab the sacred tier and sit down. You'll be treated with another cutscene. This one though, it's gonna allow you to go to the round table and that's gonna help us in order to put the Ash of War on. And now from here, you can go to the round table whenever you want. But we're not gonna stay in the round table at all. So we're gonna go back to the Church of Plague level up and use any of the seeds and get that flask up as much as possible. Now, if you head out of the Church of Plague, you're gonna wanna go north and follow up on the right side of that giant white skull. There's gonna be a gale that'll send you up top and hug the right side and you'll eventually come to Fort Faroth and grab that grace. Now we're gonna need an item that is inside Fort Faroth, so make sure you, that you follow this path and you won't have to fight anything. Once you get up to the top, you can grab the Dectus Medallion. That's going to be one of the pieces that'll allow you to go up to the Altus Plateau early. Now this part is really specific. Follow my path entirely and you won't summon any of the spirits. You're going to fall down, avoid the rats, make a jump over. You're going to jump down, grab the Radagon Sword Seal, and then just die. Now we're gonna make a slight detour, heading back to a Geo Lake North, Grace. We're gonna head over to this one hill and grab a gold pickled fowl foot. That's gonna allow us to acquire a lot more runes over a three minute period. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the northern road through the fork and just keep heading to it until you hit the church. You're gonna to wanna to pick up the sacred tear and you're gonna get your flask of wondrous physique. Make sure you grab that grace as well, because we're going to have to come back here. Now that we have the gold pickle foul foot and the Radagon sword seal, make sure that you put it on. That's going to give you enough stats to be able to use the flail. And that's going to give you a bleed weapon. This bleed weapon is going to take out this dragon. You're going to have no competition, but it will take a while. Now after six bleeds, but make sure that you're still paying attention just in case it might be one or two more or less. But when you're at that final bit, make sure you pop that gold pickle foul foot and then just kill the dragon. 
Once you kill the dragon, you're going to get five dragon hearts and 96,000 runes. We're going to use these runes to pump up our stats to be able to use that greatsword now. And use a couple other things that's going to allow us to get that lion's claw, Ash of War, very easily. So you're going to want to put your endurance up to 15, strength to 26, faith up to 15, and arcane up to 12. Now that's for a very specific purpose, and it's going to help us get that Ash of War Lion's Claw. After that, you're going to want to travel back to the Third Church America, and you're going to head up north. You're going to find a bunch of these wind gales, and you're going to take them all the way up. Once you get to the top, you can head east and follow the road. You can avoid the church because you'll end up fighting an NPC invader, and you can hop over the wall and get to the Grace. So from the Grace, just basically follow the path, but just stay on the right side, and you can avoid every single enemy and get to the next Grace. And that one is going to be the Kalem Runes. Now it's going to be really easy to get the Greatsword. Just go north along the path, go to the carriage, and grab it. If you die, just go back and grab your soul. They might even just be near the Grace that you were just at. Now we're going to want to head south because we want to get to the Church of Dragon Communion. Make sure to grab each of the graces along the way just to make it a little bit easier for us and one of them we're going to have to go back to. If you hug along the right side, you can avoid every single enemy and not have to fight anything on your way to the church. Once you're at the church, pop the grace and buy the Rotten Breath Incantation. This is going to annihilate the lion that is guarding the Ash of War that we need. It's inside of his body, so we gotta make sure we kill him. And if you followed my guide, you'd pump the stats up required to now use it. Now it's time to go get that Ash of War. You're gonna go back up bit north to the smoldering wall side of Grace and just head west. Hug the right side of the wall and you won't fight anything your whole way there. Make sure you go a little bit more north of the fort and that way you can grab the Grace real quick just in case anything happens. But from the Grace, you can head straight to the fort and just go up to the front door, but you can't get in, right? Well, head to the back side of it and you'll be able to get in. There'll be a ladder there. But be very careful because that archer still likes to try to hit you with his uh, rain attack and it's not pretty and you don't want to die. But if you do die, you'll just end up at the front door. Now, once you're actually inside front gale, head across the beam, sneak across and backstab the guy. He'll fall down and that way we're free to do whatever we want. You're going to pop down to this lower section right here. You can go inside, grab the chest and the item that you want, but prop yourself up and get ready to use that rotten breath. Use your entire bar to make sure that the lion actually gets the Scarlet Rot. And once it does, you just wait. Just hide yourself in the room and wait for it to tick down. Why even fight? I will say though, you're going to have to refresh it once it's got about 15 to 20% life left. And this is where you need to be the most careful. Because for some reason, this cat likes to jump up and try to kill you. Now that we got the Lion's Claw, we're going to have to get one more incantation. But this is very close. Just hop up the ladder and then go down the ladder that we used to get inside and head to the back of the fort. You'll find a body that has an item on it. That item is Flame, Grant Me Strength. This will give us a significant attack power boost for 30 seconds and greatly beneficial to just smack anything. If you end up dying, do be careful because you're going to want to get those souls back. We're going to need them in order to upgrade our sword. Once you've grabbed your souls, once you've grabbed that incantation, you can run away essentially. Just run away until you can use the map and teleport. And then we're going to teleport all the way back to the Church of Ella and grab our summoning bell. After you grab the summoning bell, you're going to want to head southwest. You're going to find a way that you can go down and underneath this destroyed structure, you're gonna find a merchant. Purchase three smithing stones from the merchant. This should give you enough to upgrade our weapon all the way up to plus three. You're gonna to wanna to also put on that Lion's Claw Ash of War and give it the heavy affinity. That way it starts scaling off of our strength because we're gonna pump that up. And now that you got your greatsword ready, you're pretty much set for this point. You're overpowered for this entire area, for all of Limgrave, all of the Weeping Peninsula, and you can go through all of Stormvale Castle like it's nothing. So. Let's go beat Margit now. But we need to make one more stop to get a tier for our Flask of Vizik. From the Gatefront Grace, we're gonna head through into Stormgate and just run through everything. On the right side, as soon as you get up, grab the Golden Seed and then go grab the Grace. Make sure you sit down because you will be attacked by wolves. They like to be summoned from the sky. It's really weird. But once you're there, go to the Spirit Tuner, 
extinguish all of her dialogue and just send her to the round table. Now we're gonna head a little bit northeast to go grab this tier. So follow along this path and you'll grab it. Now after that, you can pretty much just ignore the sight of Grays and just head up the path and we're gonna go straight inside into the tunnel. Just keep running into the tunnel and you'll find the Grays. Spam that button to rest at it as much as possible. And now that we're at the sight of Grace, just make sure that you're fully set up. Mix your wondrous physique with the strength and a heal. Memorize your spells for the rotten breath and your flame grant me strength. And make sure you've got all your flasks ready. And make sure they're also allocated well enough. I would say have a nice 4-2 if you have 6, or a 5-2 or a 4-3 if you like if you have 7. You're also going to want to put that Rotten Stray Summon up on your quick slot, because we're going to summon it, and it's going to be very beneficial. And with that, you're pretty much ready. So go and fight Margit. So once you're in, you're going to summon that Rotten Stray, and it's going to take a little bit of aggro from you, so that way you can get yourself set up a little bit more, and, you know, use that Flame Grant Me Strength. I actually ended up forgetting to put it in, and I still slapped this boss in about four or five hits. Like it was nothing. What's nice about the Rotten Stray is that it can rot the boss, and it can do it off of like three or four hits. So as long as you take a little bit of aggro from your Lion's Claw, that Rotten Stray will get enough hits in to also rot it. And all of this can be done in 45 minutes. Let me know what you think of this guide. Let me know how it works out for you. It might take you a little bit longer than 45 minutes. I did do a little bit of practice, but it can be done relatively fast.